Here we go, chat. <clears throat> Here we go. Let me know about the audio. seen this intro already worldwide game player all right hi everyone and welcome to the first ufl live show event my name is eugene i'm the ceo at strikers inc the game studio behind ufl first of all okay. i would like to use this opportunity to thank you all for your continued support and the positive feedback you've shared with us in recent months we appreciate it a lot today i'll guide you through the basics of the game give you a brief look at our partners and ambassadors tell you a bit about strikers inc and we'll of course see the ufl gameplay trailer as a surprise we'll also get to meet someone really special all in all it's going to be a fun ride so sit tight we have prepared some much awaited announcements okay. about UFL. So if you don't want to miss anything, especially the gameplay, stay tuned till the end. We're staying. We are staying. All right, chat, get the popcorn. The question is do they have clubs? Unreal Engine? All right. Like, if they don't have clubs, the game's not interested in, in for me, you know? For now, at least. <clears throat> but let's see. Clubs is what we're here for, boys. All right. Free to play. Free to play. What? Free to play. In August 2021, during opening night live, we announced UFL. It was a pivotal moment for the studio. We never had any public announcements before then, though we left a few Easter eggs for those willing to find them. Generally, we've been focused on building the core functionality in the team of UFL. I know that for many of you, Strikers Inc. is still the new kid on the block, and you may wonder who we are and where we came from. Our team consists of specialists in all areas of game development, marketing, licensing, partnerships, legal, and administrative support. We'll see, it may not be rip. It may not be rip. Strikers Inc. was established in December 2016 by the founders of Wiser and Pyrex, renowned game developers. At that time, we only had four people working, including myself. In three years, we were a hundred. And now we have outgrown the milestone of 200 people around the world, working both from our offices and from home. Nice. Okay. We're an ambitious team, driven by the desire to lead a new generation of football video games and digital entertainment in general. But the most important thing is we are gamers. We play a lot, sometimes too much. That's good to but know. They, they, these are unchanged. gamers. We know exactly what we want to achieve okay. with UFL. As good. we have said many times, the vision behind the game is making it totally accessible, fair to play, and fresh experience in the football gaming space. Okay. This is the game we want to be playing with you. For your right. special benefit, we have prepared a series of development diaries so that you have a good feeling about our studio's everyday vibe. And now, let's take a look behind the scenes of UFL production. Okay, let's go. Yeah, not, not every game's a rip with uh, free to play. There's plenty of good games that are free, uh, free to play. But we'll see. You don't know, you know? Don't judge them straight away. I like the fact that these are uh, gamers first. They're not just a company. So hopefully, you know, that's a good sign. I'm Anatoly, and I work on the cutscenes for the UFL game. Cutscenes in a football simulation video game differ from what we see in other games. Our cutscenes look like real documentary fragments. We try to avoid video game conventions. It is okay. essential for each football cutscene to feel authentic. We set up and shot the scenes as if we were TV operators and editors. What I want to achieve is that a football fan while playing UFL would say, Yes, I believe that. All right. I don't, really, I don't really care about celebrations, but it's nice to see. My main job is setting up scenes during the filming process. Actors' movements should be realistic, and emotion should look like in a real football match. When a player reacts to a missed shot or celebrates a goal, every detail okay. is important. How they set up to the ball, all those looks in the squad, when players prepare for a penalty. I believe that our passion for football and our attention to detail will help us to remove the difference between the game and the actual TV broadcast. Interesting. 
question is, have they got real players to interpret it, interpret how a players move and kick the ball, not just randomers? A character goes on a long journey from the beginning of the modeling process until the moment when they can jump, talk, and show emotions. We create bland shapes, and at the same time, we try to keep a character recognizable with facial motion capture, motion capture, but the processing and polishing, we make the movements as realistic as possible. We always search for a balance between Graphics technical specifications and visuals. This way, we create beautiful content, and we also make sure that our users will be comfortable. All right. Strikers Incorporated, UFL. UFL's gameplay is designed to be fun, competitive, realistic looking and responsive. These are the key pillars we try to stick to while working on the game. The flagship mode in UFL is a global online league with a division-based ranking and fair matchmaking system that takes every player's personal performance into account and decides on the next opponent correspondingly. Sure. There is hey, no so-called handicap in the game. We don't try to change the game to make it work for both players. We give a player the right opponent to compete with and hey, him That's what FIFA needed. MMR. Bring satisfaction and gratification Pretty to cool. mastering another skill level in the game. In UFL, you can create and develop your own club. The more you play Wait. and the more victories you earn, the more opportunities you have to strengthen your squad. Wait. You shape how your virtual team grows and evolves. You make decisions on player transfers, team formation, starting lineups. This is ultimate team or career. In addition, you have an option to upgrade not only your squad, but also your individual players by growing their skill or even training them to play in adjacent positions. Okay, was that ultimate team or was that online there? The higher you climb in the league, the better the players and teams Game are matched against. Cool. Ultimately, you can qualify for the Premier Division, where players compete for the biggest rewards and wildcard okay. spots in official pro tournaments and world championships, both world tournaments, and offline. For sure. There will also be a separate team-based ranking so that you can share the experience with your friends. Besides the what? league mode, there are a number of other play modes. Non-league online matches, 2v2s, 3v3s, online matches with friends, an offline mode to play casually, special events, missions, challenges, and custom tournaments, to name a few. Another great advantage of UFL is its seamless and persistent gameplay. There are no annual resets or wipes. Instead, okay. there are seasons during which you are competing for the champion title. If you win it, you keep it with you forever in your trophy room. Play solo, play in a team with your friends, and become the UFL champion. A simple and fun concept to play. Okay. Sounds like there's a lot of uh, opportunities to play with your friends. We have several fantastic partner clubs around the world. We pay a lot of attention and respect to these partnerships because in our case, they are not just for a presentation. You may call it the UFL way, but we believe there are better alternatives to club partnerships than just buying a license. Our okay. goal is to give UFL players another layer of connection between clubs and their fans. We'll keep revealing and signing partner clubs from all over the world. So stay tuned for more like updates and hot topics off, throughout 2022. Today, I suggest we look at some of the most prominent partner names we have not available so far. Who they've got, though, that's the question. Who have they got? Okay. All right. Got some decent clubs here. Yeah. They've signed Chelsea. All right. Celtic, Rangers, Chelsea, uh, they have Gladbach in that as well. 
There are success stories that would have been unimaginable in the hashtag past. Hashtag like United. Hashtag United FC, the YouTube phenomenon, a video channel following the rise of an amateur club that became an officially recognized semi-pro team in England. They are young, ambitious, and have already created a remarkable story. Driven by their passion and love for football, they managed to combine two worlds, the real and the virtual. We share sick the same for them. approach, values and goals, and thus it is hard to imagine a better alliance. Please welcome hashtag United. Okay. We Come on, Spencer. Hashtag United. What started as a group of mates playing together back in 2016 is now a proper team playing in the eighth tier of English football. We've played They've all done well, from man. Sunday league pitches to Wembley Stadium in front of 34,000 people, from international tours to the FA Cup. We've got an incredible fan base all over the world who make everything that we do possible, and we keep them up to date with what happens at the club across our social media platforms. Our esports team is top quality. We've won some huge honours over the last few years and we're regularly competing with the best of the best. And more recently, we've added a brilliant women's team who play in the fourth tier of English women's football Sick. and we've added over 500 youth players. And we've done all this in just five years. We are a one-of-a-kind football club. We are Hashtag. Fair play to man. Hats off to uh, Spencer and, and his team. We've already discussed the clubs and companies we teamed up with to make UFL shine. But to achieve this ambitious goal required something monumental. Something that would help us spread the word about the game and reach okay. an even broader audience. So, we decided to build a stellar lineup of top-notch footballers as UFL brand ambassadors. So, without further ado, here's our magnificent five. Alexander Zinchenko, a versatile player operating as a left full back for Manchester City and a central midfielder for Ukraine, is one of the brightest talents of his generation. In 2021, he's become the youngest captain in the Ukrainian national team's history. Romelu Lukaku, a beast of a player. The Belgian striker made a name for himself in England, then went to Italy where he won Serie A and was voted the MVP in the competition. This season Lukaku returned to Chelsea where he started his English career. He instantly made his physical and goal-scoring presence felt. Roberto Firmino, a unique player in the heart of the Liverpool FC Firmino. attacking trio. The smiling Brazilian known and loved for his no-look goals. Bobby is a great dribbler and provider of assists as well. He's been key He's to Liverpool's player. domestic and global triumphs and is a huge fan favourite there. Kevin De Bruyne is the first name Holy on the shit. team sheet for Manchester City and Belgium. Regarded as one of the best playmakers of his generation, De Bruyne pulls the strings for his attacking midfield position and contributes a lot with his assists That's and crucial huge. roles. The game is and it's no surprise Kevin huge. has been voted PFA Players Player of the Year twice in a row. He is a complete player who delivers week in, week out. As you have probably noticed, our magnificent five is, well, a magnificent four. But it's about time to fix that and unveil our fifth ambassador. Need any clues? This player has won league titles in England, Spain and Italy. He has won 32 trophies in his oh. career, including seven league titles, five no way. UEFA Champions Leagues and one UEFA Nations League <laughs> and one UEFA European Championship. It's not. Recently, he has reached a fantastic milestone, having scored an incredible 800 official senior career goals for clubs it's Ronaldo. and country. Ronaldo is an ambassador. So, you're what? probably already getting the idea. Anyway, let me make a quick it's Ronaldo, to right? get things settled. That's Ronaldo. See what? Cristiano, welcome to our show and thank you for joining us today. Thanks, Eugene, and cheers to all of the football fans and gamers around Sick. the world. I'm happy to announce my partnership with UFL. Wow. This is a revolutionary project in football gaming. UFL brings a competitive and fair to play experience to every gamer. Hey Eugene, let's do this and show what everyone has been waiting for. Sure thing, Chris Channel. Talk soon and that's, that's good luck to you on the pitch. Okay guys, wait no further. Here's the very first look at UFL in action. All right, some gameplay. Let's see what it's like. <clears throat> Interrupt this broadcast with a message from the future. A future where there is online football for all. A future where free to play means fair to play. 
a future where you can choose from your favorite players and they actually play like them too have to you check that back then traps and manage every stage in every okay, detail of their journey. Ultimate team. We compete in matches where skill is always the deciding factor. Experiencing moments of the movement looks like pairs. Deflation. And a nation that every true football fan can relate to. We overcome challenges, taking on new opponents and old rivals. We propel our clubs to incredible heights, attracting star players and nurturing new talents. As we create our ultimate footballing lineup to take on all comers and let the world know what it really means to be the best. This is what the future of online football looks like. And how do we know? All right. Well, we built it. It's time for you to join us. <coughs> UFL is coming when it's ready. When it's ready. Oh. It has to drop before FIFA, right? It has to come before FIFA. So that's it. You have no idea how long we've been wanting to show you some of the in-game materials. I want to tell you a little bit about why we're here. Why we started developing UFL in the first place. I want to say that we at Strikers Inc. have great respect for everything that has been done over the years in football video gaming. But at the same time, we feel that the community has been longing for a change. Our goal with UFL is to create a game that is immune to the issues that are blocking the genre's progress. With UFL, we're building an ecosystem unique to sports video gaming. We're planning to hold special events featuring our ambassadors and partner clubs, a hybrid okay. of on and offline activities i'm sure you're wondering about the release date well ufl is its final stage of development and we will be announcing the date as soon as we feel ready all in all i want to thank you for your patience and the time you spent with us today all right stay tuned subscribe to our socials and follow us will at joinufl.com okay. talk to you later take care and bye bye all right are you gonna leave us with anything Stay tuned. Still a bit left. There's a minute left, boys. Okay. So, my worry is, instantly, would be... They have to put it before FIFA, right? And... It can't go down the route of Pez. No? It could well be earlier. It could well be broken. Like, you know... Gotta give him time, but... We have to uh is there anything at the end of that no okay chat there was a part here where they they load up uh whereby is it for the game here whereby is it he talks about game modes right doesn't he i think it's by here somewhere Cancel that. Let's go back here. It's after he speaks to Ronaldo. Talk it's here. And good luck to you Let's on see. The pitch. Okay, guys. Wait no further. Here's the very first look at UFL in action. Don't they show game modes? We interrupt this broadcast with a message from the future. A future where there is online football for... See, the movement here looks like pairs. A lot like pairs, right? To play. A little bit, but we don't know. We don't know what. It <clears throat> that just could be how it was recorded, right? Right here. Uh, UF, uh, UFL, FC club management, squad management, customization, team pass, quests, challenges, marketplace, events, settings, news. Will this be crossplay as well? That's another thing. Will this be crossplay? That's huge again. Um, so this is going to be like that ultimate team. I don't know what the X's are going to mean. Uh, that's probably going to be their ratings, right? But they just haven't put them in. Game plan, management, customer tr transfer, total cost, 221 million. Okay. Reserves. So this is going to be a 
probably your bench or something. Uh, teamwork, fitness, there's a chemistry style there. The manager has his own skills as well. Oh, no, he don't. He's just, he's just on... Uh, what's his name? Uh, got Ronaldo. I mean, I'm excited, right? Are you not excited for that? I was in a game when watching this vid. Uh, kept a clean sheet. <laughs> nice. Like I'm excited, right? It's free to play. Give him a chance. Why not? What's FIFA? Like, what's so good about FIFA? You know, get some music playing again. What's so good about FIFA right now? We're all mourning about it. Yeah, exactly. That's my worry, right? If there's no pro clubs and there's no cream mode, which this is just showing them. Um, this is just showing one side of it, right? But for me, obviously, it's, career, it's uh, clubs, right? And for you and most for our community, it's, it's clubs. So it won't really affect us if it's not there. But don't get me wrong. If it's a good game to play, I will play it 100%. 100%. Why not? But, uh, and I'll just leave clubs for when I play clubs. You know what I mean? It does look... It looks all right. Free to play. Like, my worries are... Uh, well, not worries, but it needs to come up before FIFA, right? Because you want the hype to be drawn out of FIFA into this, if it's going to be a good game, and that could help us as a club's side of things. So if these are going to go down the route of Ultimate Team, that kind of vibe, and make it a, like a, a pay-to-win, we don't know, right? Let's be honest. Um, that could help us in FIFA for clubs. So. We kind of want this game to succeed, right? Either way, 